Welcome to Soto Creations, where we make your imagination a reality. We are going right into the tutorial by inflating these two balloons. Of course, they inflate as an oval shape, but we're creating an organic balloon garland and we do not want the oval shape. In order for you not to have that oval shape, once you have both balloons inflated, you want to make sure that you compress your balloons while letting the air out so you have two oval balloons push them against the end of the balloon and deflate the balloon as you compress take the time to look at the balloons to make sure they're rounded and tie your two do, your two balloons together now with the two balloons you're going to twist them together to form a quad i'm just assessing the colors i have i'm working with three colors here the burgundy pink and white and i'm looking to see what color i want to add to create a cluster so i'm using the same method compressing looking at it making sure it's round and tying that together now with your third pair you're going to twist that into the garland to make sure that it's nice and slug you're gonna twist it a couple of times and that is your cluster so we're working on this speed up a little bit so that you can get the gist one thing I do as well is I try to make sure that I have one of the 17 inches within my cluster of balloons and I alternate which balloons I use as a 17 inch so that once I form my garland it's easy for me to have each color of the larger balloon spaced out within the garland so we're just working on the white as well here comes Oliver and of course um, he can't go anywhere without Olivia she's right behind they're trying to help me here we'll get with the tutorial here pretty quick but in order for me to move on with the tutorial I had to distract them a little bit by inflating some balloons for them so i think they're happy when they have balloons to play with so i'm giving different colors so that they don't fight about who got which one and it makes it easier to prevent fights so back to the tutorial we are continuing our garland by creating clusters of six balloons each now you can create clusters of four if you like that just gives you somewhat of a thinner garland some people like that look it's just up to you what design you're going for but we're just adding that this decor idea is for a friend of mine whose daughter is turning 12 she called me today to make a garland for her because her daughter wanted to be surprised for her birthday and we had to figure something out luckily we were able to find these colors that worked for what she needed now you have two clusters you're going to tie your clusters together using the necks from each cluster one neck from each cluster does the trick you'll just tie those together don't worry i'm coming closer here to show you how I do that so what you're going to do is open up your cluster pull the longest neck that you can find most of the time the longest neck is the neck of the balloon that is the smaller one so the 12 or 11 inch balloons not that 17 inch you're going to hold each neck as far as you can you'll see it comes apart I'm trying to show it so it comes apart so what you do is you grab the necks pull onto them and you're just going to tie one knot and then tie another knot and that secures your clusters in place so that is how we link our garland and you can do this as many times as you need to to create the length of garland you need don't worry about adjusting the garland because you'd always do that as you're designing it on site so we have our base garland complete an organic look is not done until you have these five inch filler clusters you can create these with three balloons or four in this design i'm using three because i'm making sure 
each color that I'm using is represented. Of course, if I was using four colors, I would probably do two quads and twist them together like I did the bigger ones. So once you have two pair, a pair together, hold both necks of that pair and you're going to use the third balloon to wrap around and then tie onto the two necks of that the two balloons you had. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about again. So we're compressing. We do not want the oval. Again, we don't want the oval for an organic look. I'm just going to show you I have my pair there on the right and I'm using that pink balloon while holding the burgundy and white, twisting that around the middle of the balloon and just tying, holding onto the pink and white into the burgundy and white at the same time you make sure that your necks are all on the same side of your filler balloon so that when you put it that those don't show on your garland you tuck that on the back part and your design is nice and clean so let's head on to the venue and install these balloons we're at her home she has this curtain she used on the wall we're just going to figure out how to attach this onto the wall. I already put some command hooks on the wall, but as I connect my first end, the first end of my balloons, then I realize the garland is not long enough. Of course, I'm pressed for time as always. I have to go run some errands and this was a little bit of a short notice, but I'm going to reposition my command hook so that everything is nice and centered and it fits where I need it to fit. I actually put all these command hooks and then I decide that I'm just going to take off the ones there and put different stickers. So if you buy the command hooks, make sure you don't throw your actual command hook away because the packets usually come with extra stickers so you can reuse the command hooks when you're done with whichever project you're working on. So that's always a good thing. So I'm repositioning them, putting it closer to that burgundy curtain. I'm going to do that on both sides. Now, don't forget to check out those orchids over there. She has beautiful orchids. She's like the orchid whisperer, just absolutely gorgeous orchids. I'm still trying to learn from her how to keep my orchids alive but she has several and they look gorgeous with beautiful flowers so i'm using 260 cues that are attached to the command hooks to attach the balloon garland onto the wall now <laughs> you'll notice that that end was a little bit short so what i'm doing here is just getting my pump I'm going to inflate a couple of extra balloons that I brought so that I can extend that end of the garland so that's what I'm working on right here so same method you want to inflate to your oval compress so that you have a nice round balloon and you tie them together same thing we did at home and you're just going to pull that neck and attach it most people also do this on site. The curtain fell, which reveals her beautiful picture frame back there. Um, I go back and forth with that curtain as you'll see coming up, but I'm attaching the garland. The left side looks fine. I struggle a little bit with that right side because I can't get it quite right and even the way I want it, but I go back and forth. Of course, I always tell you to step back, look at your design, see if that's what you want make adjustments twist around whatever you need to be satisfied with the garland this is the part that takes the most time because we have to make it right if this is your first time tuning into my channel thank you so much for watching please consider subscribing i show you how i set up for events and do decor videos and also create some videos on home organization and home decor I have several videos lined up for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. So we're wrapping up with the balloon garland. 
by adding our filler balloons. My camera or phone is propped on the back of a chair so it slides down but thankfully you're still able to see the garland is just tilted a little bit. I'm just using rubber bands here to attach the filler balloons onto the garland. My strategy here is to make sure that the same color of the filler balloons are not touching the bigger balloons that way all the colors are kind of spread out throughout the design so again messing with that right side just not looking quite right for me i'm going to attach some filler balloons and still twist around it doesn't have to be perfect i think this ended up being the look i was going for and again the filler balloons break things up a little bit and also add that dimension that you're looking for for an organic garland so I'm working on this curtain again to get it all set up and of course I go again to mess with the balloons I end up dropping the curtain one more time so I put it aside to finish the garland and then I'm going to put everything back in place I love these colors together I think they're absolutely beautiful I hope she enjoys her day, wish her all the blessings as a 12 year old and I thank you guys once more. We're going to wrap this up, I'm going to attach that curtain back on and then we're going to put our number 12 and that would be it. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day.